This game is all about tuning yourself to the butterfly. What a fly. Oh, that's such a good shot. That's, that's mental, isn't it? That's perfect, isn't it? Like you said, isn't it? I'd like to be able to do that. Now rock it back to swing back, and rock it through to swing through. That's it. Great shot ball. <laughs> we often try and hit the ball to a certain target, yet we start trying to change everything at this end. Yeah. And really, it should be the opposite. Bang and twist at the same time, that's it. See it, do it. Oh, See yeah. it, do it. That's got it. <laughs> awesome. And put the driver on. And... Any cars out there? <laughs> Plenty <laughs> today, right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, though, the car park's back here. You're but I tend to get, game, I right. tend to get quite handsy with the driver okay. because it's, yeah, it's um, I'd heavy shots. Yeah. And if I'm trying to swing out that that way, I, I heal it, and it, it goes even further. Or it goes straight out there. Like you said, isn't it? I'd like to be able to do that. Yeah. I do watch your videos quite a lot. Brilliant. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, they're brilliant. <laughs> what, what's, uh, what stood out to you the most? Is anything. The simplicity of it all. I'm quite excited to find out my sequence, whether I. Because I know you use your rotational yeah. forces, so I'm quite excited to find out if I'm using them correctly. Yeah. Before I have a round or, uh, of any sort, I'll go to the driving range the day before and try and get a feeling. Yeah. So then, then, then the day of golf, that feeling is nothing. It's completely nothing. Yeah. So I'll probably overdoing that feeling yeah. of some sorts. And it's a different day. Yeah, and you golf is it, different, isn't it? Yeah, you wait, it's like... You hate the game. <laughs> <laughs> hate it, but love it. Hate it, but love it. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. It's, um, yeah, it, it's, um, it keeps us, keeps us humble, that's for sure. We often try and hit the ball to a certain target, yet we start trying to change everything at this end. Yeah. And really, it should be the opposite. It's like trying to find a feeling that produces a certain shot, yeah. and now I'm going to keep doing this feeling to get this certain shot and get around the course. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what I would play with this for. No. It's not like, oh, that just feels right, right. Every kick I'm going to do now is going to be the same kick. Yeah. It's kind of, I know golf's a different sport to football and tennis, and but at the end of the day, the intentions are the same. The intentions are the same. Yeah, yeah. We're trying to, we're trying to, we're seeing a ball fly. This game is all about tuning yourself to the ball fly. Mm -hmm. When I say the ball fly, I mean all the ball flies. Yeah. We're going to stress test the system a bit. So it's like, what, what do you feel like playing certain shots? What changes in your movement? How attuned are you to these changes? And where's the interference? Mm -hmm. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go everywhere you currently don't go. Yeah. And then that's going to be, that's the chaos. That's the chaos. That's yeah, the I'm chaos. looking forward to that. See where it takes yeah, me. Exactly. <laughs> and then we start to meander through that chaos and it all starts to, as we spend more time in it, we start to make sense of it. Right. That's the thing. I don't think, I don't think people spend long enough in that uncomfortable state. It's like if we don't get instant gratification from a golf shot, it's like, oh, grab another ball. And it's like, and I am ball. typical of that person. We don't really challenge ourselves enough. We think we do, uh, but the golf course is really challenging us. A lot of the time, we're practicing. And we're actually de-skilling ourselves for the golf course. We're disarming ourselves because we're not actually expanding our, if you like, skill base. We're actually just doing the same thing within very tight constraints. So when we go on the golf course, it requires movement outside of these parameters, and we just don't want to go there because the nervous system's it's just used to doing this, and it's, it just wants that self gratification. Let's hit a great shot. And it's like, oh, that's what that's why I play golf. And it's like, yeah, great, but. That's, it's the other shots that are going to score. The busy falls. Yeah. We're just hitting balls, and we're not. We're not actually getting better. I think I have. That's what I have struggled with the ball flight. The actual yeah. ball flight. I don't actually see the ball flight. I see the target, but not the ball flight. So you don't have to see it. You can feel it. You can feel it. Yeah. All we need to do is just take your sets up there. Where am I going? Well, just roll the ball back and forth. So that's it. Just back and forth. Yeah, without yeah. letting it go first. Uh, so right. yeah, just rolling okay. it back and forth and in, in, keeping it in the aperture. So nice and smooth. It's a big right to left there now. Where are you going to go for the big right to left there? Big right to there? Yeah. Do I count turn? Yeah. You're going to release it back into a full back swing and stop. 
So you can let go, let the ball go on that draw. So out towards me, that's it, there we go. This is where you might need to go, this kind of space, for a draw shot. Notice you wanted to change your stance as well. So when you so when you want to swing to the right, you need to move now yeah. that the stance came after. Right. So first of all you felt the swing go that way and it was like, oh, can I move this way? Yeah. So your alignment actually adjusts after the intent you've made the intention of the shot. So right. it's not like this, I'm gonna line up first, now I'm gonna make my swing. It's the opposite. It's like you feel the swing. Going all the way around, you feel the swing. Oh, it's gonna resist you, yeah. You're not yeah. gonna be able to move in the no. you're gonna get you're gonna feel some resistance, that's it. Release it through really fast and let the club carry on into a into a follow-through and hold it. Feel the arc and there you go. Now without stopping, just in the air, swing it back and through to that same place. Cool. You've just swung the golf club in that direction to play a draw shot. I can rotate that face, can you see? Right. I can do this. So I can try and keep that ball, you see that's going straight out there, but what I'm doing. Now, if I was to hit the ball like that, you're putting that spin on it, aren't you? The ball's gonna start over here. Yeah, yeah. That's gonna, that, that, that's my spin that I'm putting this way. Yeah, yeah, this way. Does that make sense? Quite good. you're moving your hands that much. Only for this exercise. Oh, yeah, yeah. But all I'm finding out at the moment is, can you? Right. I want to know what the level of dexterity is at the end of this chain. I want to know if you've got the perception down here of a bit slow, remember that 70 mile an hour driving down the high street, let's do it at 20. Yeah, you could even open that face up on the way back if you wanted. So you could open it up on the way back, so open it up, that's oh, close. Yeah, up. and then close, yeah, but you could be swinging to me. Oh, yeah. yeah. So these two things are independent of each other, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Just play a couple of shots for me, and I want you to do one with... Using that one, using that one. Yeah, it around. simulate that. Simulate it. And then one where you don't. And then one maybe where you go to the left, and you open it up, and... So this one might be a See, closed that, that, one. That's good. <laughs> yeah, that feels mad. See what that's like. But on that path as well, where the ball was. Okay. Put the ball flat. Low draw. I, yeah, I know it feels. That felt yeah. That was feels like I could have gone right over, but yeah, yeah it's there, isn't it? And again, yeah, yeah. What you deem to be kind of extreme might not be that extreme. No. Because you've just normalised what you do. Ball fly, different ball fly. Yeah. You wouldn't do that in other sports. A massive great shot. No, I just feel like I'm playing with it now. I'm playing with my hands more. Yeah. And so, I'm just ex exploring, exploring space. Up the, you know when you go on about space? Yeah. At the back here. I'm exploring some of this now. Just to see in what shape. Starting it down here. Starting it up there. It feels like you can. When I go on about space. <laughs> so I'm like, right, this is when you go on about this. <laughs> <laughs> you know where you went with the putter? Yes. When you've explored it more out to the right, yeah, explore that and let's let's see that low draw go and explore into that space. Look at that. Shot. What a ball fly. It's weird, isn't it? Ball fly is kind of it's piercing, less spin, it's not spinning up, it's not launching high, it's kind of drawing. This is the end of the chain, this is your, this is the artistry. I'm quite excited about it, yeah. actually, to be honest, Marcus. Imagine just... where that putter went when, when you saw Well, I'm just thinking that I'm over here, and yeah. I'm really... You know when you carry it off? I'm out over by that telegraph pole. Yeah, to you the know right. what? But the ball's not going that way, remember? No. Because now remember, where that, when you swung it back with that put, with the putter on the way back, what kind of space did it move into? Look. No, it's really... Yeah, it's drawing. Yeah. You're in the playground, essentially, now. <laughs> Yeah, I am playing, yeah. And that's where you need to be. Little draw. Yeah. So this is shot making. This is shot making, but to make now a shot. Now I'm making it go like that now. Yeah, and to make a shot, you've got to see a shot. You've got to be able to feel the shot. Yeah. I'm going to try a, a, a further hook now. Go on, then. So it's, I want to be. Yeah, look at that. That's, <laughs> that's not a, easy to do. That's a great shot. That is, that's that's weird, that's that is an awesome shot. shot. That that is, I felt like I was releasing that back here. Mm. Did you get that? Yeah. It's not technical, it's just 
what's that club doing? All you're feeling is, is this yeah. around the path, and how much is it doing it? Is it doing it a lot? Especially, it it especially that bit? draw. Is it going the other way? That draw swing, that's, that's effortless. I don't feel like I might be in no. That's weird. That is gorgeous. That. It's just like a great golf shot, that. You'd play that all day long, wouldn't oh, you? Yes. You play off the catch every one doing that. Easy. Because you can make it. And then, if you. <laughs> 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 um, the thing is, is that even if you didn't, and you're going to fade it, because you can fade it, but even if you fade, it was that, that fade shot was a straight shot. You've got a straight shot and draws, and you've got the option of all that. Of course, you can play fantastic golf doing that. Yeah. Notice the, the balls are doing this. They're all coming into that yeah. space. Yeah. Fit shot? Yes, please. Yeah. Yeah. That felt like I was on the toes on that one. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> Let's have a look at those two then. So it's okay having loads of power here, but I need to get it through up to here. So if I push, I get it up, I get it up through the system, I can yeah. transfer it, okay? It's timing your vertical force with your rotational force, okay, your horizontal torque. So it's very late in the swing and you've used all your torque. Can you see that white line between yes. your feet? Yeah. That white line, that's an indication of the torque. We want to use this torque at the same time, we are using our vertical force. But you've already done you've so already used already it. Used it. It's gone. Yeah. Now you need to get the club to the ball. You need to release. Right. So you now used your torque, so you've got vertical force left, and you've got horizontal force. You've already shifted to the left, so you've used your horizontal force, so you've got vertical force left. So where do you go now? You've got to go up. And when you're going up, Okay, and you've not, and you've already used your torque from the ground. That you're not rotating from the ground. It's done. Now your arms are swinging, right. and that's probably why you get this look here because as you're going up, it's restricting your, yeah. inhibiting your torso rotation. Whereas if it's if it's later, you've got the rotation from the ground, and now you're transferring it through the, the body. The whole body's going. Extension with rotation in the golf swing looks very different to just extension. This is what the GRS system does. Right. So it's attuning you to these forces I've just talked talked about. Yeah. So you're going to essentially have a, a bespoke kind of little program for what you need to tune you up. It's like a re it's like pressing the reset button every time. Yes. Now what's also important is can you see this centre of pressure here? Right. That cursor. Yeah. That's moving. Watch this as your hands start down. Look, it's moving at the same time. Yeah. We really want this horizontal force to be proceeding at the end of the chain. If we move our pressure at the same time as we're moving the distal end of the chain, we're not really sensing the whole body. We're not experiencing the separation of the lower body and the upper body and the arms and the club. We're not, we're not actually experiencing a sequence. No. Not at a level we can really feel. It's like throwing a ball and you, that, the pressure's moving at the same time you're throwing your arm. Mm. Everything's moving together. It's kind of, this distorts the body map. It's kind of like it dampens it dampens that sensory feedback because yeah. everything's moving together. All your joints are moving, <clears throat> your segments are moving together. Whereas if this goes, and then this goes, and that goes, you can kind of, you can feel your shoulder and your wrist, and you, you can feel a release. But if it all moves together as a block, mm. you can't feel a really feel a release. That's why when you start using your hands, you're like, oh, this feels handsy. Mm. It's not really, it's just that you can feel your hands and your wrists working. Yeah. But, you can't feel the rest of it because no. it's all moving together. This is the way you can sequence. You can turn your hips to move your feet, or you can use your feet to move, to move your hips. I want you to use your feet to move your hips now. So use your interaction with the balance pad to really fire the hips. That's it. Just do some half swings, just feeling that with twisting back and through with the hips. Twisting back as well. So swing the club back with the hips. Yes. See how it reacts. Cool. How powerful that felt there. Yeah. It feels like I'm just yeah. throwing it. 
keep your grip pressure firm. You need firm grip for everything else to move. You don't want to be gripping this light. This needs to be firm to let your wrists move. If you're gripping a hammer, you'd be holding it firm to let everything else move. Yeah. Just step onto those for me. <coughs> what we're going to do is we're going to stand up. And that's your torque. So you use, this is when you use your vertical when you're twisting. That's it, together. Ooh. Yeah, ex exactly. That, now, that is how you'd see Bubba Watson. You know when you see Bubba Watson play? Right. He's used his torque and his vertical at the same time. He does that and he kind of comes, he comes out of it. Right. Moves out and it kind of opens up, doesn't it? Yeah. Because he's using, he's using his torque and his vertical and he's like this. And his hips kind of go like this as he yeah, comes, yeah, comes yeah. off the floor. And now let's have a few swings back and forth and use the timing of that to, to release the club. Yeah, that throws the club. Can you feel that? Oh, yeah. That feels like the club's out here. Miles out there. Now rock it back to swing back and rock it through to swing through. That's it. So I'll just start there though. Or just start there. On your left side now, bang it, bang it firm. That's it. Good. As soon as you move that pressure back, this is what pulls you back. So you've got your arm going this. It's like if you were throwing a ball, you don't throw it and carry on. What brings you back is moving the pressure that way because that fires this sequence back. Does that make sense? Yeah. And it's that that pulls you. Your arm swing, the length of your golf swing is dictated by when you go that way again with your force. And that then fires the sequence back. That's it. So you've almost got your body moving in two different directions. It's like club's doing this, and then you're moving back, and then you release it. So now you're combining both on the way back and on the way through. Just make little tiny half swings. So bang. you're gonna bang it, bang it, bang it, bang and twist at the same time. That's it. Yes. Oof. You'll feel yourself shift and bang it. As you twist. I feel like I'm trying to twist first. Yeah. And what do we know? We know in your golf swing. You use your torque first. Yeah. It's gone before you bang. Yeah, yeah. Before you go up. Now step onto the carpet and make some swings. Now you'll feel the difference. This is where you feel it. Look at the hip rotation now. Like that. Feel that? Yeah. You use well, it feels like I'm, I'm over here. Can you, <laughs> can you feel the you're using more of the foot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right foot now on the ankle. Yeah, I'm still well. getting that stretch. On the ends, you're using this, you yeah, yeah. right, this foot now is getting worked. On the way back, it's moved. Yeah, it's letting you. Don't drive the car at 70 mile an hour to start with. No. Or you don't see much of the, of the roadside. Now you can start to move into your draw release and draw swing. Oh. Went a long way with a little effort. It did, didn't it? Yeah. gone from being like this yeah. to like this. Now, 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 you can, now you can open the face, where you can push the face open a little bit at, uh, at address, you can push your hands forward a bit, open the face up. And neutralise it. Look at that, little draw. It's a, it's a penetrating flight, isn't it? Yeah. It's awesome. Wow. It's long, isn't it? Oh, that is such a good shot. That's, that's mental, isn't it? That's perfect, isn't it? That was a buttery strike, yeah. wasn't it? Perfect. So see, you've got a repetitive ball fly. It's like landing the same spot. It is, isn't it? Every range session is a discovery session. Okay, so driver, one sec I need to show you. It's the opposite to hitting down on the ball, where the path goes out. Now we're hitting up. Path goes... Left. Left. And it's on an angle, yeah. it's even more flatter. So you can move your swing direction here, and by moving that swing direction, we've, made, we've created a functional path on the up. What you were feeling with the, with the, with the putter head yeah. is that, but on the up now. And just swing shallow, a bit swing out to the right. And that's it. Shot. What a golf shot. Different flight. That is. It's like penetrating, isn't it? Yeah. Great shot, Paul. Oh. <laughs> that? that's, that's up there, isn't it? Fading with the driver then. You just, like, you just, just move. No, you don't need to go. You don't even need to do that. You just need to move around. That's all. Just change the change the change the path. <laughs> what a shot! And now back to the draw. Oh, <laughs> brilliant. 
quite funny, really, because you're... Um, <laughs> It's so where, somewhere you've not previously go, but now you can draw it off that place. Look at that. It's low, isn't it? Yeah, it's penetrating. That's going to run on your Lynx course. That's running, and this holds no fear. It's, in fact, you embrace it, because I need to go that way. Yeah, yeah. All right, Paul. Enjoy it, mate. It's been hard work, hasn't it? Thanks, George. Wicked stuff. Great to watch yeah. that. Brilliant. Enjoy it's it, good, it. Awesome. Get one of these, I think, isn't it? Yeah, 10% for people with bad lessons, so you get 10% discount. 15, did you say? <laughs> <laughs> you heard on camera. <laughs> um, I'll put, what, what size shirt did you take? I'll draw it around, draw it around the post. Yeah. Right, let's have a bit of fun. Like that. <laughs> Just like that. See it, do it. Oh, See yeah. it, do it. Let's go, it. <laughs> awesome.